felt that to give us a pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Order. First item on the agenda is to approve our agenda. Move. Second. Motion by Feldheim, second by Gage. All in favor, saying the public saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. This time we'll open the meeting up for any uh, public comment. Would anyone like to address the commission this morning? In person, online, on the phone, on any issue that's not on the agenda. Let me say one thing. When you get to, uh, I don't have my glasses. There's a... Well, this small, conference small will now be recorded. Oh. When you when you get to eight, you're like this conference is no longer being That's recorded. Okay. What happened? I pushed that button. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I apologize. <laughs> no was, problem. Am I supposed to be recorded? Am I supposed to redial in? No, I don't think so. No, that was me. Sorry. We're live. I'm okay. sorry. Okay, no problem. Okay. Apologize for that, you guys. Sorry. No I apologize. Problem. Interrupt me. Okay. Hearing and seeing no other public comment, we'll move on to the consent calendar. Okay. Um, first item, approval of general meeting minutes of March 7th, 2023. Move. Motion by Weiss, second by Gage. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Claims and payroll. Move. Second. Motion by Feldheim, second by Weiss. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carried. HR report. Mm -hmm. Motion by Denner, second by Gage. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Zoning ordinance, set hearing date, and authorized mm -hmm. publication. Oh. Motion second. by Weiss, second by Gage. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carried. Lease. Move. Second. Motion by Feldheim, second by Denner. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Authorized publication and set hearing date for chemical bids. Move. Motion by Denner. Second. Second by Weed. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Approve and authorize chairman to sign fair contracts. Move. Second. Motion by Gage, second by Weed. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Set hearing date for retail on off sale malt beverage and South Dakota farm wine license. Move. Motion by Weiss. Second. Second by Feldheim. Discussion. Um, that's for Tanya Reich out at uh, Richmond Lake. Yeah. And uh, Janine and Rachel here with me today. Janine, Tanya, and I are working together on putting a uh, uh, package together for. Uh, Reception, a reception hall, <coughs> not just one or two, we're going to have like five areas. And what we would like to do is is uh, find out what is going to, when will liquor licenses be available for their location? For permanent? Yeah. Okay. December. In December? Yeah. Okay. Is there any way we can put the applications in now and pay for them now? I was told this morning by the auditor that no, they come, they come due annually in December. And that's when applications are re are received and approved. Okay, so you, you uh, we don't we can't do nothing today on it. Not not on existing, you mean? No, I'm 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 not. I'm starting the process now. As far as like we want, we would like to have we're, we're, we would like to have interest in them if we could. Do you want new ones or you want to? This is for a new one. What we're setting the hearing date for now is the one. In the pack of the right or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, what we're what she would like to have is uh, hard uh, have heavier, not just beer. And I know that there's nothing available right now, but there will be soon. And I just I didn't know if there was a way for us to apply for the ones that are coming available. Apparently, no, because they have to come available. Any existing, if if. The existing licenses are for county, and that area is annexed. Then the county licenses are good until the end of the year. 
you maintain the county license until the end of the year and then they become city licenses. Okay, that's not what I was told at the city. The city told me that as soon as this happens, uh, they the licenses that are that are actually the county licenses now actually become city licenses. That's not true. We have the we have the uh, codified law of what's going around. Oh, Whatever it went. Here it is. Could I get a copy of that too? Sure. Sure. Yeah, we've got the codified law that dictates that the light the current license remains in effect under okay, the jurisdiction of the county till the end of the year. All right, now let me ask you this here then. So if she says that my city li licenses will be available uh, <coughs> first part of next month, do I get to use all four licenses then till the end of the year? Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, well, according to the codified law, which we'll get you a copy of, the county licenses that you're operating, that you own currently, once that land is annexed into the city, they remain county licenses until the end of the year. Okay. All right. That's, you that's, that's, that was not what I was told, but that's okay. That's, yep. that's perfectly And that's, that's the way I'm reading that, those two codified laws. Does he still have those county licenses, or do they, county, do they turn mm -hmm. into the county? And they remain Stacy's until the end of the year. Can Stacy then sell that to me and I before the end of the year? They would have to be transferred the way I understand it. Is that correct, Lynn? Um, we just transferred them to that new property, so they are with that property at this moment. But I can buy one. He can sell one to me. I'd have to check with Laura, because seeing they're being annexed into the city, I don't know how that would work for sure. See, I'm in the process of building, getting together a I'll be in here shortly here for a zoning mini ag to highly commercial and I'm looking at building an event center that is going to bring the seating capacity with tables is 500 people for events I'm going to be doing uh, once a month <coughs> to uh, like a flea market this, I'm going to bring in excuse me Dean I didn't mean to interrupt you but Janine and I didn't talk about anything until after I already had my process already started on, on her deal and neither, and neither did Tanya as far as uh, her event centers and stuff like that. Now Janine doesn't want to do any cooking. Shane and Tanya don't want to do any cooking. I That's what I do. You know what I mean? And so we're all three going to partner together. But she, what she's trying to say I think is um, she's going to hold off and you know and, I, and it's nothing that we can do about it but I mean she's, she would like to you know an answer if she could get a liquor license that's going to be a, you know possibly available. Cause I I can't, in I order to be, build that building is what she's saying. Right? I have events booked already in 2024. And my, I plan on having my building done <coughs> by the end of the year. So if, that, I can't, if that's reorganized in December, the license expire, you have until December. The question is, do those licenses then become available to the county again? Yes. Yes. So then you, you could buy one. Because I can't, I can't build a... That's 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 what that's what I'm doing here, and I'm not trying to cause any trouble. All I want to do is, is make sure that Janine and uh, Tanya are taken care of because I mean she's going to have a million dollar investment. He's going to chain and, and Tanya by the time they're all sitting down out there, they're going to have a ton of money tied up into their place too. And I'm it was I've had this I've had my plans in, in works for a lot of years, a lot of years. And yours will be located in the county as well. In the county, yes. yeah. Yeah. And so I need I can't go out and. I'm leaving tonight at, when I get to work <coughs> to go do the final plans in Iowa for my EPS building. And I got to write a check for $160,000 today for that. I can't do that if I don't think I'm going to have a liquor license. Uh, my Can I event is dead in the water if I don't have a liquor I have license. to ask one more question. I almost forgot to ask this because I'm kind of, uh, kind of brain dead actually most of the time. But this is popped in my head. How, how do we get the county to, uh, how does the county get access to more liquor licenses. Is there based, any it's based on population. Is, oh, so is it, is it so based on population of the county? Is it is it the county's vote or is it the state's vote? The state is based on population. And so the county licenses that you currently hold will become city licenses the first of twenty twenty four. So they will the county license will expire at the end of this year yeah. and then Based on what we know right now, population-wise, we'll have those two licenses available for next year. 
that you will apply for in December. Okay. Well, and, and, and the reason why, I mean, I brought a check down today to write you guys a check, and I talked to Lynn yesterday, and she told me that I should just probably come down here and find out the information. The reason why I'm, that, I'm gonna, that I'm down here is because of her and in, in, uh, Shane and Tanya. I'm on a hot seat. I yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing down here. I mean, it's, I, I did not know anything about their plans, but what they were going to do until after I already had my stuff in, in order and, yep. you know, going. So just, just so that you guys know, it, this is not, th I'm, I'm down here for that. Well, based on what we know right now, in December we'll have two licenses available because you're, if everything goes through the way you hope you it's going to go, once they annex you, then those licenses will be good for those two parcels until the end of this year, and then in 2024, then that you'll be the two parcels are on they're, they're, they're on right that they're Correct. on right now. Okay. Right. And then the, but the pro, but the, those properties will not be annexed in until 2024. No, if you annexed them now, that'd be fine. But you operate under a county license okay. Okay. And for the remainder of this year. Okay. Based on the codified law that we just gave you. Okay. That's awesome. the way I'm reading it. Go ahead. Can they uh, file an application ahead of time to apply for one of the licenses, though they're not due in December? We can't do anything until we actually, because we have to publish it, and we can't publish because it's not available right now. <coughs> I have my application all filled out for mm -hmm. liquor license, and I'm prepared to write a check for forty thousand dollars. And we don't have any right. available yeah. today, so. Well, we just wanted to stop down yep. here. I, I, I told you Nina was going to come down here and approach you, and I wanted to make sure that she was here too. And I also called Sha uh, uh, mm -hmm. Shane and Tanya before I walked in here. And when I get when I get down here, I'm going to call them again because if we're three going to work together, we all need to be on the same page. But so I'm down here representing. So, so we're, aware, we're aware of your interest, and when they become available, then you'll have the opportunity to do that. And I don't think you know everything else falls into place there's any reason for any opposition to you. But can we ask you one more question here that you know as far as what she has to know and what Tanya and Shane are also going to have to know um, what are those prices going to be on those licenses when they're for sale? We haven't set those for this year yet. Okay. We will be discussing that do a little uh, research and, and see what accounting looks okay, like. Okay because I'm sure she's probably I'm sure they're probably going to want to know. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah, I, I have $40,000 <coughs> in my budget because that's what I was told. That's what they when currently are, but we haven't set the, the rates, the renewal rates yet. So that, that you know, is subject to, bring the revenue, to change. For me to bring the revenue to Brown County that I'm going to bring in. Question for you. Um, one more thing. I, I, I don't know a whole lot about this, and, and uh, Lynn and I haven't even talked about this yet. And I, usually she's, <laughs> she gets a phone call from me twice a week because, I, like I said, I'm not, when it comes to, I check IDs and I can make a cheeseburger medium rare and that's it. I'm not very, other than that, I'm not really, <laughs> <laughs> it's true, well, Mike, Mike you know, you, you, you've talked to me before, you know. Um, oh, how am I trying to say this? With her events that she has booked, if she does not get a liquor license before the end of the year, um, if I'm operating under Big Fellas for a wedding, can we also operate for her under my license at the same, on the same day? Can that license be used twice in the same day? Yeah, you can do a special event license. I can do a special event license and have big fellas. Can I have, uh, it, you know, if something happens with Shane and Tanya, can we do two special event licenses? Only one special event and one, okay. That's, that's what I'm doing. And with regards to your comment, the revenue that will come to Brown County, we'll get the, the cost, we'll get the revenue from your liquor license and then whatever property taxes is the county shares. That's that's what the county gets from your new your venue. You know, we get no sales tax, so so you know, if you turn it into a ten million dollar a year event center, the county will get the property taxes on that venue and the initial cost of the liquor license. So that's all that's in it for Brown County, just but so you the know. The tax revenue is for South Dakota, you know. South right. Dakota's gonna make Right. But the, I mean, what she's trying to say is that she's going to bring in a lot of money into Brown County. Is what she's. I mean, we understand. She understands about what you're saying as far as tax base does not come here. Right. I mean, I mean, the four and a half percent. What he's trying to say is that goes to the state. It doesn't come to the county. Yeah. The, the sales tax. Correct. Yeah. Go ahead, Doug. So we, as a county, if we have, can we somehow set some agreement up when people end up with Janine's problem that we can accept their funds when the license become available? I realize the state says we don't have the licenses. <laughs> But can we set some kind of an agreement up? This is probably a question more for Ross. 
that says that people are interested in it, that we can pre-do this upon the license being available in December? Um, that I can't answer without talking to Ross, but I would think in December that uh, anyone uh, anyone that's interested <laughs> in applying for a liquor license sure could have, would have every op opportunity to apply. Can I can I say one more thing as far as like what Doug just said? Um, why couldn't uh, well, actually, Janine, I don't, I don't know if, if they don't know what the price is going to be, and you've only got the forty set for your budget. I mean, I was I, I was I was going to suggest that maybe we put down a just a deposit for them, and then they can you know returnable deposit, and then you would get. Is there any way that you can be guaranteed a crack, Adam? If we if we put a deposit down, I think that's what Doug's trying to say. Yeah, because I think that way she can go ahead and she can get her building and everything else already started. You know and. I have my license all filled out. Yep, and I, and I can't answer that. That. <laughs> uh, that would be a legal question and also a Department of Revenue question whether we can guarantee a spot for at renewal time. I don't I don't know. I can't answer that. No, I do What's that? I'd have to look into it. I don't know what yeah. about. We'd have to contact the Department of Revenue and find out if that's if that's so an acceptable. Within my, the money that I'm putting into this building, I can't afford to build that building if I'm just gonna have crack at here in mind. I can't make it. Nope, we, under, we understand. We just can't answer the question whether we can guarantee it in December without checking with the Department of Revenue. You, you have my normal check on that? Pardon me? You can do a malt beverage and also a farm wine license? Yeah. But at any time. Right. It's just the hard liquor that... Uh, what, if for every event that she has, if, if they don't have a deposit down, what does that mean? If I make her a deal, some, if, if somehow her and I go on with a deal today on, on, on the special event part of my liquor license, for her to use it for the next year. What's it, what, I can't remember, what does that cost me per event to move that? For, for uh, what does that cost me to, to move that uh, license? Two, two I want to say it's $300, but I'll have her verify. I think, I think it's two bones, I think it's 200 and I, and I, I think it's 200 Can okay. you pay 200 to move it there and leave it there for a month? <laughs> no, no, it's for, for each day. For That's each what, event. Yeah, for each event. Oh, if, if, if the events, uh, oh, what about this? What if the events a week long? <laughs> Verification. I, uh, if I recall in a special event, there's a cap on how many times you can use that, isn't there, Lynn? 200 a day. 200 a day. Okay, now let me ask you this here. Oh, it's 200 a day, not 200 per event. Does it say per event or does it say per, per day in there? So, per day. So, okay. like if she has a Friday, right. Friday, Saturday, it'd be $400. All right, now I approached Rachel here uh, about a month ago about bringing hard liquor out to the fairgrounds for uh, the fair. Now, is it going to cost two hundred dollars a day to move my license out there, too? Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. Is there a cap on that special event? How many times you can use it? Seems to me I read that somewhere that there was a cap. Sounds like we have a list of questions <laughs> to verify with <laughs> revenue. Yeah, I plan on having the event center, and then I'm going to have a fifty by four or sixty by forty bump out of the event center that's going to be planning to be a bar that I would be opening nightly. Well, we're at the mercy of the state regulations right. on this, but there's no opposition. I, that oh, I no, I mean, we, we, we're, 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 not, we're not to try and help you with that's that. That's not what we're trying to answer. I appreciate all the help you guys can give me <coughs> you in the direction. I just don't want to have a million dollars wrapped up in a building. Mm -hmm. as soon as and, and the reason why Janine and, 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 the Janine and uh, Shane and Tanya and, and I got together is also, I mean, I, I can't, we, we can't get nobody to work. You know what I mean? And I mean, uh, her and I, I mean, if, if she has any event going and we don't, we're going to go out there and help her. And, and the same with time. You know, we're all three going to get together and we're going to, I mean, between all three of us, we should be able to have enough employees for, you know, a crew. The verification that we just got is it can't exceed 15 days. There's no limit on the number of times. Right, 15 consecutive days. Okay, so you can run it 15 days and shut down for a day and then do it again. Yep. If the I way, wanted to. The way we're okay. reading it. Consecutive yes. days. Yeah. But we'll verify that with the department. But there's no law. limit in the amount of days as long as it's a day here and a day there. Not that we see okay. there. But it's $200 a day to have yeah. there. Yeah, right. Oh. Right. <coughs> so then it's subject to the availability of the license to begin with and when the time allows for that. The governing body can include rules limiting the number of licenses that may be issued. Well, like I said, I'm not, I'm not down here to. Uh, to have Dwayne rip off a, a shitload of them little white pieces of paper and all, excuse me, language, I'm sorry. Uh, 
you know, I, I, I didn't mean to come down here and open up a can of worms. I just want to make sure that she, that her and Shane are taken care of because I promised I would. Well, it's, and what I'm writing down is the, the questions that have been raised today that we need to verify with the Department of Revenue so we can tell you, can you pre-guarantee your license by giving us a deposit? We don't know. Um, we already know there's a cap of 15 consecutive days. That we know. <coughs> so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll verify these things with the Department of Revenue and then we'll have the, the answers as well. And just get one more thing and then, and then I'm done. On those little white pieces of paper over there, does it say anything about uh, lock the door before Gosley comes in any more of these meetings at all? Or, <laughs> <laughs> or, uh, or uh, bring a bottle of Jack in or something like that? It would be helpful if there was goodies. Not, not, <laughs> not yet. Okay. Well, I'm really sorry, guys. I just want to come down here and, and, and take care of, uh, make sure that Jean and Tanya are taken care of, and, and uh, we'll, we'll keep working together. We really appreciate your time. Thank you. We appreciate the interest in uh, building something that's going to benefit Brown mm -hmm. County. We'll do what we can. I, I, I hope that it will be easier. You bet. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for your time. We'll let you know what we find out. Yep. Yeah. I'll let you know. Yeah. I'll be on the road at school tonight yep. going to Iowa. All right. Yep. Good luck. Hopefully yeah. The roads will be better today than they were. You bet. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Any further discussion on item number eight, set hearing date for retail small beverages? Far South has got a farm wine license. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. Any other business to come before the Brown County Commissioner <coughs> this morning? Oh, Rachel, do you have anything you'd like to discuss? I do. I'd like to request an executive contract. Okay. Oh. All right. So we have a motion second. by we, second by Denner, to go into executive <coughs> session for a contract. Do we need to include any legal or personnel? <laughs> Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries. All right, <laughs> lights back on. We're back in session, out of exec. With no action as a result. Contracts were the only thing discussed. Is there anything else to come before the Brown County Commission this morning? Entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion by Denner, second by Weiss. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. <laughs>